Right, what you, what you doing with your mask here? What's that? I'm just going to pass you a sec. I'm sure you're not supposed to be touching me. And... Oh, you... You're actually... <laughs> oh, you fuck! Are you spilling your tea? I can hear Rob doing that easily upstairs, he easily goes like that. Hi, I'm Paul, the good lucky one from RS in the spotlight. We're gonna do the Hall of Fame for you. Just waiting for Rob to come up. He's gone f it. Have I got a fill in for about 40 minutes? One hour later. Alright, dude, what have you got for us today then? I'm organising the Hall of Fame at the moment because Andrew doesn't want to do it anymore. Um, you can still email it all to him though. <laughs> <laughs> You've got some Hall of Fame ready for us. Yes, I have. Talk us through what you've picked out then. Okay, I'm just going to reel off the losers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> these guys haven't quite made it, but they're pretty good. We've got a nice sand trooper here. Cody R. Adams. Looks like he's, um, he's on a holiday to Cornwall there by the looks of it. Biker Scout. Benjamin Minty Jacobson. That's not a real name. Ben then. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool biker scout actually. Yeah, it's looking good. I like it. Nearly. I like the weather. Eh? It's a nice, uh, nice TK. Frank Zimmer is in front of the 501st stand. It's arty because it's black and white. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is um, a close up of Gary Cor Cor Corcoran. Corcoran? Corcoran? Gaz. Gaz. <laughs> it's very good, but not quite made it. Jay Browson. Yeah, so. Um, it's a good picture, but he's not, um, he's not quite, you know, we we've got the wrong background for it really, to be honest. Do you think? Yeah. Do you not like the background? Yeah. What do you like about me? Thanks to Marco who visited us yesterday and brought us some chocolates. Oh yeah. Always goes nice down Nice guy, Marco, yeah, yeah. He did bring two, but Paul's already ate a full box of them by himself. I'm saying. <sighs> when they came in and he just went, give me more! I saw you and Clarky eating this morning. You're such a fat <laughs> Confiscated them again. I saved them for you. You only give me chocolate when I find you secret eating. Otherwise, I only, I only know you've ate chocolate because you have it all over your lips and your beard and everything. That's not chocolate. <laughs> okay. Oh. What? I like, I like this one, but the reason we've got a problem is because it's quite can't quite see it. No, it's just too dark. But yeah, nice shadow scout. That's good again. I mean, we've got. You'd ooh. like him to have a decent background, but that is a good picture. And we've got some interference. That's a snow trooper helmet being sanded as we speak. I reckon. So it's by the sound of it. Who's this? <sighs> Kevin Bonenberger. I think we've got. It's fair to say, me and you and and Andrew. We've got a bit of a difference of opinion when it comes to the Photoshop ones. I'm not a huge fan of the Photoshop ones. Oh, okay. But I think Andrew <coughs> likes them when they're done right. I mean, I like all the effort and everything, and mm -hmm. I think they've done a great job. Well, is that you and yours? Oh, no, it can't be. It looks too slim. Although, you do like to go to a disco. Mm, yep. Yeah. I can balance balls on the end of my blaster as well. <laughs> There's... Uh, Stormtrooper stood in front of a bush. Yeah, mm. but it's a bush. <laughs> <laughs> what? And the biker scout? Does this this biker scout with like this, um, you could do with. I think you could do with wearing the wearing that. Well, maybe we should do a video about how to wear the um, the know. cod. Yeah, yeah the yeah, cod yeah. for nappy. Yeah, to avoid an unwanted look. I'd prefer if the pictures um, didn't have, say, a fence behind them, though, you know, if, if he's going to do an endor one, try and, try and cut out the fence yeah. and what have you. <coughs> yeah. Hell, yeah, Rob, can't you just wait five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> rather than sending us your clearance pictures, um, we'd rather you, you send us a picture, say, without fences behind you, cars behind you. They're good, but I think with a bit, a little bit more imagination, yeah, they'd yeah. definitely be. Yeah. They'd, they'd be oh, amazing. Okay, let's talk about this one. What do you think about that? 
That's quite good, yeah. Right, so and I want the wanna, Alpine Garrison. Um, Taylor Faster. I want to. I want to ask you something. Yeah. I'm looking at this photograph, and there's a couple of things that stand out to me. I'm wondering why that guy's going to try and like sort of club him with his blaster instead of just shoot him with it. I don't know, unless he's like really wants to. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Totally bust your ass open. I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, yeah, in that position, what would I do? I'd probably kick it in the balls. And again. That got me thinking. Where's where's a wampus? <laughs> do they even have? <laughs> how do they? How does a wampa reproduce? Yeah, I, for some reason I've just started having strange ideas about how wampas yeah. reproduce. Um, and is that a girl or a boy well, wampa? Well, we have mentioned it about wampas, haven't we? And it's just like I a don't, giant, well, giant dog. I've not mentioned it, to be fair. No, I've not. You talked for minutes, literally minutes in there, about a, walk, a walkie's reproductive when? organs. Last Tuesday. The Thursday before, <laughs> Saturday before that. Um, do you to start writing it down in the calendar? He's obsessed yeah. with a walkie, he's just, he just <laughs> moved it over to now to a wampa. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we move on? Yes. Because please. there's some other yeah. even more. Between his legs. Surely. Do you think yeah. it's normal to think about these things? <laughs> Dude. So I think what we're looking at really, here really is the location. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And then let's just. You see that? That's making me wish I was on a snowboarding holiday, yeah. to be quite honest. Right, so come on. Let's get the. Let's get the winners on. Okay. Is this the winners? Yeah. Are you ready for the winners? Winners? So we've got all four of them. That's one. You, you could have you could have built <laughs> it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we inducting? So we've got we've got multiple inductees this time around. Okay. I'm just uh, leaving up. Multiple inductees, so let's go with the first one. Right, our first inductee in the Hall of Fame this time around is Ken. Correct, Ken. Mm -hmm. With this amazing photograph, there's quite a few things going on. It's, it's lit really nicely. Mm -hmm. It's got that orange tinge, which is kind of a bit of an ESB vibe. Yeah. And it's got a bit of smoke as well. It's got that real um, carbon freeze chamber yeah, sort yeah. Of vibe about the whole thing. Really nicely done. Fits perfectly. Looks amazing. This is the perfect Hall of Fame picture, I would yeah. say. Okay, next inductee. Because we've got more than one this week. Yeah. So who have we got here, Paul? It's Michael. Michael from Costa Rica. Yeah, Michael from Costa Rica, yeah. And, um. okay, the reason why this one's worked so well is because <coughs> even though the background is, is uh, we presume, a convention, <laughs> It just the photograph just works. Mm. He looks amazing. The armor looks absolutely amazing, and the background is is sufficiently lost for it for it all to work. You can mm. see something there. It's just good. It's a great photograph. I like that. If you're going to do a convention one, this is yeah. this is definitely one to aspire to. Yeah. Right. Moving on. Right. This is Christine Lee. <coughs> yeah. Uh, it's Christine Lee with a smoke bomb. Yeah. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? This is this is a nice one. Clark has chosen this photograph because it's got the smoke bomb and it's all being waved around and he experimented because he's probably seen Peter McKinnon do some photographs with smoke bomb a while ago. <laughs> but uh, true, true story. No, but it's cool. I like I like the photograph mm. and the the other thing is I need to give a big sh shout out to Christina, who's a friend of RS now for she's been a friend of RS for a long time yeah, yeah. and let's give credit where it's due she built this from kit herself she? she's done a really good job she's got the proportions right hasn't she she has now yeah. it's it's quite deceiving the photograph she's very uh, petite right, lady okay. right. and she's made the armour work mm. beautifully yeah that works so yeah that's definitely going in she's got a, a very deserved place in the Hall of Fame Winner. Okay, last entry into the Hall of Fame for this time around. Who have we got? This really does look like a screenshot. Do you like this one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're impressed with this? Yeah. See, this is where me and Clarky have been banging heads a little bit. I was never overly into the into the Photoshop uh, kind of thing. Oh, but, okay. But I must admit, 
this one really works. Yeah. I mean, it's it's done nicely. It's done really well. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. And I'd like to do yeah, it myself are. now. Yeah, I'd like to do yeah, it myself. That's, that looks like it's straight from the screen, doesn't it? That's his image that's going in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Kenneth did send us a few other photographs. Now, please, please, Paul, you, you just take a look at these. Are you ready? Yeah. So I was quite torn whether or not this one or the Photoshop one should go in. Just because of that Photoshop thing, anyway. Mm. Andrew convinced me that the Photoshop one should go in, and he's probably right. But this is this this would get in as well. This is just yeah. a great the, photograph. Well, this is this is probably the one. This this is obviously the one that initially won you over. And then Andrew's showing you the other one. Andrew, Clark is showing you the other one. And um, so that that would get in in its own right mm. because that's a great photograph. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh, make of this one what you will. <laughs> All right, okay. If it is a fan film, I can only try and imagine what what's going on with this cast. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's the sisters. They might have um, just been passing on a, on a day trip or something, and they'll tell a picture. I've no. a joke for you. Sisters of Mercy, go on. What type of meat can a priest eat on a Friday? None. <laughs> oh, terribly. So yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Whether they were part of the film, maybe it was nuns versus stormtroopers. I've watched that on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, it's the mind boggles, but just the fact that this photograph exists. Yeah, yeah. Are they real nuns though? They're not how I imagine nuns. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you a few pictures on my phone later, Clarky. Very clever sending the picture of the nuns and obviously <laughs> getting Andrew's attention. Is yeah, all I can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, superb. So that wraps up another. In fact, you you may as well finish it. I'm going to eat some feta and some. All right. Yeah, you yeah on. okay, that wraps up another instalment of um, Trooper of the Month. What is it? <laughs> that wraps up another Hall of Fame inductee selection process with your sexy bearded Paul and your um, roly poly Rob. <laughs> um, don't forget to like us on, fa on Facebook as well and YouTube and. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Don't forget to do that, boys and girls. And over. If you could. Over. Over. This a big world out there, Bob. I'll take you to it sometime. And back. <laughs> okay. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>